Hey fish friends, here's another aquarium in my fish room that I just couldn't wait to share after sharing the shrimp tank. This is a really different aquarium. It's a 20 long and these fish are Amatitania nanolutea. Nano means small and lutea means yellow so they're a little yellow or dwarf yellow. Sometimes apparently called yellow convicts but I've only ever seen them called nanolutea. They're from Panama. They're actually a cares fish which means that hobbyists are asked to keep them and breed them in their aquariums to help protect the species. Because unfortunately, their habitat is um, being destroyed. And so the species is, is threatened by that. So we're keeping them in our aquariums and hoping to, uh, I'm hoping to raise these guys up. Uh, they'll probably take about a year. I just got them a few months ago. And they'll uh, hopefully start to pair off. You can sex most of them now. So the males um, get a little bit longer fins. But the female is the easiest to spot because she's got a blotch, a black blotch on her dorsal fin. These are a real easy, fun little fish. Uh, very pretty, you know, yellow. And apparently they get more yellow when they get into the breeding mode. Uh, in this tank, I've tried to give them a lot of cover. As they start to pair off, you can see some aggression in there. I've also tried to give them some cave-like structures. I've got a few small flower pots in there, one on its side, one drilled, some driftwood on the left side of the tank. A lot of Texas holy rock. Um, just some good places for them to get some cover. The tank is heated. I uh, keep it in the upper 70s. I've got a double sponge filter on the back. I use double sponges in most of my aquariums in the fish room. That way I can always take one off to clean it without crashing a cycle, or I could even take one and put it in a new tank. Uh, these guys are real easy to feed. Here I'm feeding them some fluval bug bites. Uh, I feed them frozen bloodworms and live baby brine shrimp every day. I feed them uh, frozen mysis pretty often, and just a variety of dried foods. They'll eat anything. Uh, they're omnivores, uh, and so they like a nice, nice varied diet. I just have some thin gravel in the tank, and I actually, um, most of the plants are floating in this tank. There's a lot of hornwort, as you can see. It's growing great under the shop light. There's a real pretty red sword in the back. A huge piece of water um, wisteria on the top. I've got some java moss growing on driftwood. I just glued it on using some um, Loctite gel super glue. That works great. It's totally aquarium safe. I use it in all my tanks, my reef tank included. So anyway, these fish only get to be about four inches, so they can really be kind of considered a dwarf cichlid. Um, although as they start to pair off, I'm going to have to move the majority of these. I just started with uh, 10. I'm going to have to move the majority of them out as we get some breeding pairs. And so my hope is that in about a year, maybe I can be posting a video with some Nanotia fry and do my little bit to uh, contribute to the CARES program and helping to protect this really cool little blue-eyed cichlid.